vehicle we're looking at is a 1905 Schacht. Is that what I pronounce it as? Not sure. But anyway, let's, uh, you know, we'll do a little walk around here, get around to the uh, passenger side, which is normally the driver's side. And here we see an original 1905. Now, when it's original, we have things like rust and rotted wood, maybe termites, maybe it's just rot. We have bearings losing oil. We have a lot of tattered stuff going on there. See that leather seat destroyed. And I think you, I know where you, I think you know where I'm going with this. So this is a car that could not be enjoyed in original <coughs> condition. It is simply just, you know, deteriorated past that point. <laughs> a yard display, that's all you got. Now what's interesting is this has been half restored. So what we have here is a restored looking 1905, which is very fascinating. It's the same vehicle. And this represents to me, uh, this is by the way, a 30 year old restoration. So it's not like it was just done. It's held up well for the last 30 years. And this represents a classic car. It could be in a museum like this one, but if this was finished, someone, of course these cars from this era, very, <laughs> they could be a challenge, not easy to drive, not easy to start and run or maintain, but it can, it can be done. Uh, and this would represent what it would look like as restored. So my vote in this particular case would uh, be, hey, go ahead. It needs, to me, it's almost like, you know, the maintenance, even paint and rust repair become maintenance items at some point. So it's a very uh, different calculation. Now, every vehicle condition, its rarity, its uh, the needs or desires of the owner, definitely um, will present a, a different calculation on what you want to do with it. But I think uh, this is just a really wonderful uh, demonstration of restored versus original. I don't know how this engine works, but it looks like two opposed cylinders. That's how I'm seeing it. Spark plugs on either end, on either side. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm saying this is opposed. I'm, I'm saying it's a two cylinder air cooled based on the fan shroud up front there. This of course is in the back of the vehicle. Of course, they apparently are uh, advertising that it cranks in the rear to eliminate the hazard being run over when starting. I guess that's as long as it's not in reverse when you crank it. Also, if the engine's in the back, it's kind of where you need to put the crank, I would think. Fascinating to see how the thinking was in 1905 for a vehicle like this. Looks like the intake and exhaust pipes almost look like just regular plumbing. Okay, thought I'd add that on for you guys. Okay, that's it. I would love to hear you comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Because even keeping it original, you have to replace items that just are wear items, are maintenance items. Uh, rubber deteriorates, gets hard, seals lose their ability to keep sealed. You know, those things all happen. So where do you draw the line? What's restored? What's original? All right, I look forward to hearing from you all. Thanks.